So today I'm coming at you fresh from out of the shower for two reasons. The first is because if I don't film these videos like right when I have the ideas for them, there's like an 100% chance that I'm going to forget what I want to talk about. And the second reason is because this one is actually inspired by the shower. Actually, it's inspired by a spider, a really scary spider that was in my shower. But there's a point. And there is value in this story, in this video. I, I pinky promise, I swear to you. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, like a week and a half ago, maybe, I was in the shower and it was already like an emotionally unstable day. I was already kind of like not 100% okay in the shower. And I had washed my face. I was in there like taking my good old time. Turn around. And there is this big scary spider down by my feet. It's like, I don't know, maybe like the size of a quarter. Maybe a little, probably, it was probably bigger. I'm probably not exaggerating. It was probably bigger than a quarter. And it wasn't like one of the skinny, wimpy ones that you feel like you can handle. Um, it was fat and it was hairy and it was scary. And I had already been in there for a couple minutes, like, so I was like in the shower with the spider. That's, that freaks me out. Um, but yeah, I, and I jumped like up out of the shower. I jumped up in the shower and then I jumped out of the shower and I like screamed for Sean and he came and he like took our, we have like one of those showers where that you can remove the, the, um, head of the shower to, so that it like can be free. And so he like used it to, uh, direct the spider towards the drain and uh, let him go for a little ride down there. So I don't know if he's still alive or not. I hope he's not trying to like get back up in my shower. Um, thank goodness for Sean or I don't know what I would have done because it was like not. Sometimes I can handle bugs of my own. Like I can flush a stink bug, but spiders are another story and I just couldn't do it. So big scary spider in the shower. Uh, he said it's called a banana spider. I don't know why you'd like call a spider a banana spider because bananas are good and delicious and spiders are not. And they're scary and they're horrifying. Anyways, that's, so that's where the story starts. And so the past like week and a half, like I haven't been able to get this damn spider out of my head. It's still, it still scares me. And so, like, every time I get in the shower now, I, like, you know, peel open the shower curtain and, like, check along the edge and, like, make sure there's there's no critters hanging out there. And I can't stop thinking about it. I know it's silly and and that I need to just let it go, but, like, sometimes we, we tell ourselves to let things go and it just simply doesn't happen. Now I'm scared of the spider and I'm scared of the spider coming back, but, and here's, here's where we get to, like, the real point of the story. But... My fear doesn't have anything to do with whether or not the spider is going to show up. Whether or not he's going to, you know, crawl his way out of my drain and back into the shower, or whether another one is going to show up, it doesn't matter how much or how little I fear this spider or spiders in general. Um, I have no say in whether or not they come back or whether or not they join me in the shower. And so often we fear things and we have, we worry and have anxiety about things that it isn't going to change. We worry about things that no matter how much we worry, we can't change the outcome. Our, our worrying has nothing to do with whether or not the thing actually happens. And so we spend, like I've done for this past week and a half, I've spent a lot of time and a lot of energy and some of my emotions worrying about whether or not this spider or one like it is going to come back. And we do that all the time, all the, all the time. I mean, I'm super scared about the direction of my business right now. Um, it's, it's new for me. I've never tried to make a living off of this, um, this kind of, of path. Um, and it's scary. And sometimes I do let it hold me back. Sometimes I don't take the dive or I am in such a, a kind of like place where worry and anxiety has a hold on me that I can't get what, whatever I need to do done. 
and that I've I've been realizing more and more that I've been trying to become aware more of those moments and especially since I, I deal with anxiety all the time for literally everything um, I've become begun noticing just how much of my energy and my capacity it's, it takes away from me and so just like that stinking spider in the shower like yes I've I'm my fear is influencing me in some way because I'm checking for the shower in, under the shower curtain and making sure there's nothing in there, which is something that I didn't do before. However, the fear hasn't stopped me from getting the shower, getting a shower, <laughs> because that would be bad. Because I work out all the time and I teach yoga and bar, so a uh, hot yoga. So if I didn't get a shower, people would notice, and it would be bad for not only me but the people around me. So I have to shower. Um, that's I can't let my fear of this this hairy banana spider. Uh, maybe I should name him. Maybe if I give him a name and a personality, I'll feel less um, intimidated by him. But that's beside the point. If you want to help me name my scary spider friend, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. But I haven't let that fear hold me back from getting the shower, getting a shower. And I feel like with what is out there online, or sometimes what people tell us, is that oh, wait, there's no need to be scared, or you don't have to be scared, or just let those thoughts go, and it's simply not that easy. And so it's okay to let fear make you more cautious, and it's okay to acknowledge the fear and let it be there, but it's when it stops you from doing something, when the fear stops you from getting a shower, that's when we have a real problem. So if you're going through anything scary right now, I'm there with you. There are much scarier things going on in my life than the spider, but this is a good example, a good story to, t to tell with this lesson. Um, so don't feel like that you have to flush that whole fear away because it's not going to happen and you're just going to waste especially I've noticed this a lot with my life when I try to tell my fear to go away it's just like nope I'm not going anywhere like it's so stubborn but that fear is a good thing because it means that you care about something it means that you're compassionate about whatever's going on or whatever you're trying to accomplish or do so that fear isn't something that we necessarily don't want to have it's just something that we need to not let it influence us or hold us back so I hope that maybe you'll think about this spider story the next time you realize that one of your fears is kind of getting a hold of you and that, yeah, you might, you know, you might look around, you might look to see if your feel, fears are real or not, or if you have, if there's anything to justify those fears that you can see that you need to take into consideration, like peeling back the shower curtain to check before you dip your feet in. But I hope that you don't let your fear stop you from showering and I hope you don't let it stop you from doing other things in your life that you want to do because more often than not no matter how much fear we have no matter how much we let that fear in it doesn't do anything to change what's actually going to happen it doesn't change whether or not the spider is going to be there because that spider's going to do whatever the hell it wants anyways so take that into consideration the next time fear is crawling for la for, for purposes of this video crawling into your life and um, flush it down the drain don't let it stop you from doing anything all right that's it hopefully if you're if you don't like spiders I'm sorry for this video that I talked about one fingers crossed that doesn't come back because it it was it was like I've never seen a spider like this in my house I've never seen a spider like this like I mean photos of I've seen like photos of scary spiders but like I've never had like a close encounter and like so I teach bar and we sell we, at the studio there are, are like bar socks that you can buy and I just bought a new pair the other day and they're black and so today when I was in the shower um so they're like they're like brand new socks so this is like kind of gross but it, it's um a little extension of the story so I was in the shower and there's like you know all those like fuzzes that come with the new sock like the toe jam and stuff and so I saw like black fuzz, like a big black fuzz, like, like, you know, like a big black fuzz in the like corner of my eye when I turned around today in the shower and it scared the hell out of it, uh, hell, hell on me because it made me think about that spider. And so again, I like jumped up, my heart started racing. And then that's when I was like, okay, Alan, how can you turn this into something for other people? How can you tell this story to a point to it? And, um, you know, I've let this spider kind of walk its way into my life. Or the past couple weeks and I need to not I need to not let it I need to take the precautions but I need to not let it um, 
interfere with my calm, relaxed state that I am not in, but trying to be. All right. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.